Okay, I got a request from a very patient fellow named Ted for this video of cropping with Fine Matrix in Lightroom. I'll have to admit that I don't usually crop in Lightroom, so you may have, or certainly can find, some better methods than what you're about to see. I actually had to practice a bit to understand the controls and effectively use them in conjunction with the Fine Matrix software. Another setback making this video was a computer crash and subsequent compatibility issues when installing stuff on the new one. Since not all of those issues have been resolved yet, I'm using an old desktop, which drags significantly. Hopefully it can be made seamless so as not to waste your time. Let's try this. First, when you hover your mouse over this square, the pop-up tells you it's the cropping tool. It also lets you know that you can use the keyboard shortcut R to open it. Now right here, you can set the aspect ratio you'd like to use. The default is set to original image, and this drop-down menu lets you choose from the usual options. <laughs> You'll notice the common print sizes, which of course does not include 1 to 1.618 yada yada option. If you'd like a more exact approximation to Phi, you can set up a custom setting here. But since I prefer cropping for printing later, I'll go conventional with a 1 to 1.5 setting, which is cleverly disguised in the more common 2 to 3 or 4 to 6 whole numbers. So we'll select that one. Not to worry though, we're only human and will not recognize the difference between this and a true golden proportion. The cropping tool here is also used for straightening your image, but we won't be using that feature either. You can see that, like Photoshop, there is a faint overlay to guide you in cropping. <laughs> Yet another feature not featured in this video. But nothing gives you the golden ratio and its printable approximations better than Phi Matrix. So let's bring that up too. Now I prefer the crop tool off when manipulating the Phi Matrix overlay. Since I've already indicated my inability to see the Lightroom overlay, the first thing I do is stick in the line in Phi Matrix so we can all see it. Although Phi Matrix makes it easy to use Phi, I'll select the 4 by 6 ratio option. After a few quick steps of mental math, that tells me that it's the same as the 1 to 1.5 I promised. We should also lock that ratio in here too. First, let's drag the Phi Matrix grid over the whole image. You'll notice how easy it is to set because the aspect is locked. I kind of like how the bridge almost sits on the upper third line here and that these logs are in this area with some cool green moss stuff here in the middle balanced by more cool moss clinging to the foot of this tree. This boulder in the foreground seems important but I'd rather get closer to the bridge while keeping the moss and maybe giving these logs more prominence. Let's change the overlay to the golden spiral. I'll just click it until the jackpot is set in the first position. You'll notice by changing the grid that we'll need to reset the line width and the aspect. And then we'll also relock it. Let's move the grid to our position by dragging it, resizing it, and just manipulating it to the spot that fits our goal. Then we'll make sure that the crop tool is selected, R, and rather than dragging the handles to match our grid, I prefer just starting in one corner holding down the left mouse and dragging it to fit. And then we'll just crop it by double clicking within the selection or hitting the enter key. Like this. Now we'll minimize Phi Matrix and go back to the library. Again, I'm no Lightroom whiz, but it's important to remember to export your file either overwriting the original, saving it to a different location, or renaming it. Otherwise, it'll only look like this in, in Lightroom. Since we want to compare it to the original, we'll save it in the same folder, but rather than overwriting, we'll use a custom name that will place it next to the original. From this drop-down list, we'll select File Name Dash Sequence. You can see the new file name down here. When you're ready, just hit Export. Rather than comparing the results in Lightroom, I'll close that and open up the ACDC program. There. Now aren't you glad I didn't waste your time while this dinosaur computer shuts down and opens? I like using the ACDC viewer for this part because it's easy to keep a full screen and flip between the two images. And since the Phi Matrix program is also locked on the same ratio, it makes it easy to compare them. We could see in the cropped one that the bridge comes a bit better in line and is more dominant in the image. The logs and green moss still fill the center section, but are now more important elements in the whole. We got rid of this extraneous stuff here on the left, and the reflection in the ice puddle seems more comfortable to the eye and better placed within the composition. And we still have enough of the boulder in the foreground. Well, there you go, Ted, and anyone else who lasted this far. Uh, Ted, are you still here? 
Hope you enjoyed and got something out of it. If not, well, you know where to find me. You can get Lightroom at Adobe.com, Phimatrix at Phimatrix.com, and ACDC at ACDSEE.com. I'm just a user sharing my experiences, not a spokesperson for any product. Enjoy whatever happens. Oh, and don't forget to consider one of my books on Amazon.com. Thanks.